one hour on maximum. The Invincible. Stanislav Lem said you can't reach the truth without crossing the sea of mistakes. Okay. Feels like my streaming. <laughs> I should copy that. Welcome to the Invincible demo. It takes place early in the game, shortly after the very beginning. But worry not, on the following screen you'll see a brief recap of previous events. Please keep in mind that the demo does not represent the final quality of the game. We're still working hard to improve it, fixing bugs and enhancing the performance. Now let's dive into the world of the Invincible. You are an astrobiologist named Jasna, a crew member of the Dragonfly, which is a small research vessel. At the start of the game, Jasna woke up in full space gear stuck on an alien planet with no recollection of how or why she got there. Checking her equipment, she discovers that her radio receiver is broken. Thus, she has no contact with the rest of the crew, but suspects, suspects they can still hear her. Based on her own journal entries, she's in close proximity to their camp. As Yasna heads toward the destination, Nemo hasn't read the text. Boo. Mouse invert by default. I approve. Um, wobbly. Let's set this to high. And then. Try again. It was automatically set to epic, but I think that's not what we should do. Ah, invert is, a, is an option here. But it's a bit. Trying to find the... Mm, I was smoothing or something is going on here for sure. Increase this a bit. Okay, we are Yasna in full space gear. And we have no recollection. What happened? Thank goodness, not everyone's in the field. Ah, it's a position tracker. Okay. Hmm. We are definitely in space. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Oh. A bot. Android bot. Android bot. Follow my instructions. Androbot. Oh. He's jammed. Uh. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Unknown. The ambient noise is a bit hardcore loud. Oh, maybe if Artie, default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Chris! 
We're in space. Okay, it's a box of stuff. Apparently we don't want to do anything with it. Oh, there's someone there. Ooh. Dr. Crowther, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's Nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. The conclusions, doctor. Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders, and there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary, something's very wrong with him. And I can't tell what, which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hop along ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. No. That's good side. It's a bit of an odd one, this. Oh, we met with it. I'm not sure uh, what is expected of me here. Mouse keys. Um, left mouse button is in tracked. Hmm. Mission log. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. 360. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had <laughs> oh. one as well, didn't he? 
Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. What did that sentence have to do in this game? That's supposed to be a joke? I don't, I don't really get it. A uh, quick theory, a giant nickel iron. Okay, we can't read that. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. I hate it when I can't read things. Oh, got it. Please make sure it works. Hmm. Yes, it works. What else is required of me? Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? Just look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. A secure crowder. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Uh, that's it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so is this just a proof of concept demo, then? I that they can pull off space and spacey stuff. Like sound design is, is pretty good, the lighting is brilliant. The user interface though is not. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. She just said, I have weak knees. Relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm connected. Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. 
That should help. Good, good. Mm. It's receiving instructions. Now, let's see if we can get the robot fixed. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has direct readings. Can I just. I'm gonna try again. Lower this more. I do like the planetary atmosphere, but it's a bit like. Don't do that. Yeah, it's just the mix is a bit off. Hello. Oh, it worked. He moved. Finally. Marty should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Uh, could be the servo motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, tin bastard. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. You'll get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Find the rest of the crew. Up there. It's not like we have a, a compass or anything. But we have that tracker thing. So yeah, the, the demo um, is a bit wobbly Finally. on its performance Work. legs. Crowter, five meters. Careful. And it has this weird blur that happens on occasion. Um, oh, we've got a map. Let's check the excavation site first. That would be this way. Did I pick up the lamp earlier? Uh, I know I wanted to. Detector. Telemetry. Tracker. Bye. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got the metal detector, but we don't carry a lamp as such. But yeah, apart from the performance and the uh, user interface, there seems to be a bit iffy. The graphics are decent. Decent at least, the lighting is great. The atmosphere is pretty good. And uh I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be fifty meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. Uh, it's a demo, Zenik. Welcome in. It's a demo still. You can play uh, the demo at the moment on Steam as part of the Ludo Narakon event. So if you want to have a go at it, uh, it's it's on Steam as. Um, there's the link there in the in the uh, discovery list you find the link yeah they brought the demo back and it you know the user interface still needs a bit of bit of work but this is this is a very good uh, 
first impression graphics wise. And um, I'm expecting it to be a fully handheld uh, exploration, exploration and interactive fiction thing, but the views are spectacular. Right, so the excavation site is down there and then we should check up on Gorski as well. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's vibrating, apparently. Oh. There's more down there. And I nearly fell. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. You're looking for people here. Oh, we might be able to get down there. That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking! Oh, they broke something off. That wasn't very smart. It's a drill! So damn loud! Phew. It's finally stopped. Yes, sir. Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope. But someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. Oh, invisible wall. Oh. There's nothing on there. Hmm. That metal. That's metal. Oh, what happens if I jump down here? Oh, I can't. Eh, I can't, okay. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Lots of invisible walls here, though. Alright, but then, you know, it's a... Uh, it's not an open world exploration game, after all. Oop, can we fall down the hole? We can't. <laughs> Got someone. I'm following the signal. Ah. That way. Go up there. It's a bit spooky though. I mean, you're, you're very alone here, but you have the radio contact which helps a bit. Running is not really an option as a mode of traversal though, so we're going very slowly. Ooh. 
Wait. There's the backpack. The signal's coming from a cast off backpack. That's concerning. Getting close. I still don't see anyone though. I heard other noises though. What? We're not investigating it. Oh, shit. Merit! I see her! What's her condition? Merit! 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 Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, that was very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very really smart. Very short demo, like half an hour if you're going slow. I mean, I probably maybe want to play this, but it's um hmm. Is it tad wobbly? I don't know. It's a mix of um um uh, mouse smoothing i guess the field of view i kind of want to change that but we can't probably because we're you know in the helmet <laughs> yeah i guess it's gonna be a game like that for sure it's a guided tour with story which is fine i don't expect it to be anything else um But uh, it's not really easy to to make out what kind of story it will be. Will it be horror, science fiction proper? Um, be a monster story? I don't know. I mean, they they are. Uh, I'm also not sure if I like the voice acting, to be honest with you. But, but yeah, it's in its entirety, it's crafted nicely. It it looks well enough, uh, <laughs> impressive even in parts. And um, I, I guess I guess that will be fine. It's it's hard to tell if, it, uh, but it's definitely something I want to keep my eye on because uh, I like the the science fiction. Setting. That I like. Um. So, user interface needs to exist because it's not existing at the moment. I I kind of want to have some options. Uh, when it comes to that, and if they intend to not have any user interface, um, obviously they will put in a, a better introduction to the controls in the beginning of the game the demo is is just putting us in after the beginning of the game so it wouldn't be smart of them to spoil their introduction um so yeah that was the invincible the um game number 1211 discovered on this channel